I will let you know there are certain technologies that are being created right now using microbes that eat plastic and fungi that can eat plastic. There are certain types of enzymes that are developed that can eat plastic. But until those are developed, there's really two things that you can do. Number one, avoid plastics, which I'm going to get into. And number two, we can do things in our body to help detoxify some of this plastic in forever chemicals. Let's first talk about the brain. There is a type of lymphatic system in our brain. It's like a dishwasher. It helps clean up stuff. That system really occurs when you're getting a really good amount of deep sleep. High quality deep sleep is going to be necessary to help get rid of plastics in your brain. Another way we can get rid of plastics is by inducing something called autophagy, where you're cleaning up some of this toxicity. The best way to induce autophagy is through fasting. You need to fast for at least 18 hours to get into some significant amount of autophagy. The thing with plastics and forever chemicals is it creates a lot of oxidative stress, which you can counter if you have a strong antioxidant systems in the body. Consuming foods high in sulfur, that would be garlic, onions, cruciferous vegetables. There's other natural remedies called NAC, milk thistle, tadka are all great remedies. Now let's get into the probably the most important thing to get rid of the forever chemicals as well as the plastics. If you have city water, boy, you have to get a water filter that can help remove plastic, find a good one with really good reviews, or a whole house unit. Let's go through some other really important things because you're going to be surprised how you're getting plastics just with your routine that you do on a daily basis with cooking.